Hey guys, it's Marlo back with another unboxing and review, and today I have the NECA Toys, the Thing, on MacReady, the Last Stand. Now if you guys are wondering, this is the third version of uh, RJ MacReady that we've gotten by NECA Toys. This was released in conjunction with the Target, uh, what is it now, it's called the Geekathon, which is similar to the Holothon. That they have every you know so often and uh, again this was an, a, uh, a release for Target a Target exclusive I suppose and uh, yeah this is the cover to this ultimate figure the other side there the back showing some nice images of RJ McCready and as you can see here these are all the things at the very bottom that come with the figure what is it now six interchangeable hands two heads hat flare lantern detonation box revolver and bottles so if you're like me if you're a crazy fan you've been suckered into buying this three times now uh, nice product image there on the inside flap like all ultimate figures it has this you know flap door that opens up to reveal the figure inside and we have McReady there the figure with all of the contents some cool effects on the inside there sort of a frosty effect some white uh, sort of dry brushing there and uh, I don't know we'll take a closer look at the figure so I can give you more of my opinion so let's get him out and see how cool he is out of the package. And I forgot to show the bottom. Of course, these are all the fine folks involved with the making of the figure and the barcode. So here we have the figure out of the box, all of his contents there on the table. Before we look at those, let's take a quick look at the backdrop insert. Uh, nothing too special there, just a you know simple backdrop if you want to keep that for display I tend to get rid of my boxes due to lack of room I like to cut the flap for the artwork and basically just keep that and I chuck the rest but the uh, inner backdrop there I'm not sure I might keep it but yeah it's not a must-have for me anyways here is the figure himself again this is the third version so not too different from the uh, first two but uh, definitely a bigger difference with this compared to the first and second the first one was more or less a cleaner version of McCready the second one he was a bit more iconic because he comes with the flamethrower but this one is also iconic in my opinion so if I were to pick two out of the three it'd have to be the second and this version here he has all of these uh, dynamite sticks and of course you have all of these wine bottles full of I guess some kind of fuel to make these Molotov cocktails <laughs> his bombs there he has uh, an extra gloved hand a pointy finger uh, what is this sort of a gripping hand and an extra left hand there looks like he can hold a pistol in that one maybe or it's another pointy finger uh, the pistol, a uh, detonator box, lantern. I'm always a bit, uh, you know, wary of using these because the plastic on these is so brittle. I wish NECA would just use some kind of a metal piece, like something like, you know, a paper clip that was just bent like that. So it'd be a little less fragile to handle. So again, I guess if this were to break, I guess I could always try to bend a paper clip to fit in there or something like that. And here we go, a little torch uh, to ignite everything. And of course his funky hat that we all know from the movie. And here is a closer look at that McReady head sculpt. And this is also cool and unique to the set. A more pissed off, angry looking John McReady sculpt. The decent likeness to uh, Kurt Russell. But uh, if you look at 
the image on the box if it'll focus come on there focus 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 he looks very uh, you know covered up with snow and ice and even oops sorry ah, trying to spin this box around on the back there you see a little bit of frosting on his beard some of the white snow or whatever the sculpt here at least on mine looks pretty clean he looks like you know he's just been indoors the whole time don't see any of that snow or white frosting on the sculpt so I'm probably gonna have to go in there and add that myself uh, you really shouldn't have to but you know I'm thinking I'm gonna definitely customize this figure just to make him stand out even more from the first two releases as you can see the figure itself is also pretty clean I was hoping he'd be more uh, you know riddled with snow just snow kind of caked on him at least maybe on the lower legs and you know on the shoulders stuff like that because yeah if you see that image on the box he's definitely caked with snow and ice so I'd like to get a similar look going with the figure here all right all right so here is McCready once again I have him decked out with his Molotov cocktails there and he's holding the torch swapped out the hand to the one better suited for holding the torch the other one can kind of hold it but it's a little bit more open there the one holding the torch has a tighter grip as you can see there and the hand he comes with is fine for holding the bottles so that's basically it uh, before we get into more of the details let's see how tall he is and just to be expected, he is at about 7 inches, which is the basic height for the ultimate figures. And a closer look again at that lantern. Really nicely done, the details. Again, just my only gripe is with that very fragile looking handle. Oops, it's already coming out of the little, you know spot there so just handle that very carefully there you go the details there put that aside the detonator again nicely done you see the wood grain there the little screws on top are nice the detonator that doesn't really come out as far as I know it seems glued in place the uh, what do you call that the handle or the switch there uh, even the bottles are really cool Again, you're probably not interested in looking at those, but yeah, just to sort of give you guys a closer look at how far NECA goes with these details. So let's look at the figure itself. Again, really cool details. Definitely could use a little more snow. You can see a little bit of white, uh, you know, kind of splotched uh, you know, dry, with a dry brush throughout. But definitely not enough for me. I'm just going to splatter a lot of white paint all over this figure later on. The back is definitely pretty clean too. Again, you see a little bit of that white dry brushing to emulate some snow. And you do get a little bit of that snow effect on the beard there, which you don't get on the uh, MacReady head without the hood, unfortunately. So yeah, I'm going to have to touch that up. As far as articulation, nothing too new. Uh, single joint at the elbow, wrist rotates, you know, get the head rotating. Of course, it's on a ball joint, so you can pop that off. Legs go out like so. Forward, single joint at the knee. Rotation there at the middle of the leg. And you get a swivel and pivot at the ankle of course the waist also can turn like so so yeah if you have the other McReady's you already more or less know what to expect with this figure so you're just getting some extra details there again with the Molotov cocktails the uh, straps that hold them all pretty nicely there 
course the uh, dynamite throughout and a few new accessories don't remember if the torch came with the other ones um, again that uh, head sculpt of McCready with the more pissed off looking expression so not too much uh, else to say about this figure hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick unboxing and review if you did please give the video a thumbs up be sure to share the video like the video and if you haven't already please do subscribe to my channel be sure to click that notification bell so you uh, you know will be alerted to future videos and uh, yeah definitely looking forward to the uh, alien dog or whatever it's called the accessory set that comes with the mutated dog and other creatures to uh, basically finalize all of these thing uh, figures that NECA has been pumping out <laughs> so that's it guys take care keep on collecting and I will see you all next time bye bye